Right, so I'm delighted to welcome this afternoon our new women's management team of Keith Patterson, who's going to be the manager, and Emma Bonnet, who's the assistant manager. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'll start with you, Keith. You're, you're taking on the management role. Just tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, so, I've been coaching women in girls football for five years. I uh, started off as a, a youth coach uh, when my, da my daughter first started playing football, and, and then I've progressed through um, sort of age groups uh, throughout, throughout the years. Uh, and I'm looking forward to, to taking first open age uh, team. Is this your first attempt at doing an open age uh, For group? women, yes. I yeah. currently have a, a, a men's open age team right. um, who are part of college football, um, who I've been working with since uh, the start of this season. Yeah, it's been it's quite an established team, which I'm, I'm sure Emma will tell us a little bit after. But they've been going for a long time. Firstly, under Noel, a little bit of a change now. Are you looking forward to getting going with it? Yes. Yeah, so I, I've known the team for a while. I'm a, I, I'm pre, I was a referee in the in the league previously, um, so I've had the pleasure of refereeing. The, did they behave themselves? They did. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Emma's forgiven me for the last minute penalty I gave against them. Just the <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so I've I've, I've 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 known about the team for a, for a number of seasons. Uh, and uh, I'm excited to, to work with them and, and uh, coach them this, for the rest of the season. Yeah. As I say, we have had quite a bit of history with the women's team, haven't they? And they've done well, maybe on a social level sometimes, but also competitively. They've, they've put in some good performances. Uh, are you looking to build on that? Yes, yeah, so ideally I would like to see them get promoted into the to, to Division 1 of the league that they're in um, at the moment. And then from then seeing if we can progress them, eventually getting them to um, sort of national league level. Um, so I'd like to see us progress for the next few seasons and move up the, 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 the leagues and, and see where we can where we can get to. What about recruitment of players? Are we are we got the numbers we need or do we need to build that squad? Uh, I think we're definitely looking for a goalkeeper at the moment. Uh, due to injuries with uh, where we're currently without one. Um, and and then we're gonna look at the team and see if we if we need to recruit in and what areas we need to recruit in. Yeah. Yeah but you're looking forward to the challenge. Very, very much so yes. Good. Okay, Emma, turn to you. <laughs> You've been playing for the ladies for about three or four years. Three or four years. What you position have. do you play? All over, to be honest, oh, yeah. but predominantly in the midfield. Yeah. yeah. Good group. Fantastic group. Yeah, really, really good bunch of girls. I think it's more, as you mentioned before, the social side of things. I've been in a couple of teams previously when I used to play football, and there was a few sort of disagreements within the team. Started playing again, as you mentioned before, under Noel, and it's just a phenomenal bunch of great group group of girls. Yeah. Everybody gets on with each other, both on and off the pitch as well. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about when the, the women actually play? Because I think one thing we do need to do, and there's something I'll say on camera now, we need to get a bit more publicity out so we get a few more people. Do you agree with that? I would say so, yeah. yeah. I think we had one match earlier on this season where we played at Hague Avenue, yeah. um, and that was fantastic, just the support that we got on the sidelines. I think it really rallied the girls up to actually go out and give a performance. Yeah. We do normally play our home games with the JMO in, um, I think it's Ormskirk Way. No, it's Way, yeah. 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 As well. Yeah, and when do you play? On a Sunday. Normally, it's be it's between about one o'clock or a two o'clock kickoff. Yeah. And what about training? How often do you train? We train once a week, every Tuesday. Yep. Yeah. So you started off under Noel. Yeah. You're now taking on the assistant manager's role. Big boots to fill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about that? Sort of stepping up from being a player to being sort of maybe a little bit more bossy with the girls. I'm quite excited to be honest. Whether or not the girls will feel the same way is another. <laughs> we'll thing, ask them. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but no, it should be good. I think sort of from being a player, I get to see that side when I'm actually on the field and maybe hear things that potentially somebody who's looking from the sidelines might not hear and then yeah. work with Keith to obviously try and develop certain things that I think we as a team all need to collectively work on. Yeah. Is it important to, that you're going to work well together? You know, you, obviously you're going to have to feed off each other, you're going to be on the pitch, you're on the side. Mm -hmm. Is that an important part of it? I think so, yeah. I think it probably starts with the management and then it will trickle down to the girls if they see that Keith and I have got a good working relationship then I think that will sort of harmonise with the girls on the field at the same time. Yeah, Women's football has taken an absolute massive boost, hasn't it, these last few years? Mm -hmm. Is that helping, do you think, or both, that's for both of you? Do you think that will help with your recruitment to see that the, the women's football is getting so much publicity? I'd like to say so, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah very, very much. So um, coming through the, the youth leagues at the moment, there's, the, the, um, there's, a, there's a large amount of young players who've been playing since they were uh, seven or eight years old. Um, the, the the lionesses of, of um, 
improve the number of players that we've got because they've seen the lionesses play and they can the girls can see that they can be future lionesses yeah. as well. Um, so we've got a, a real healthy um, sort of pool of um, potential players that we can hopefully uh, uh, tap into. Yeah, you might get the next uh, Mary Earps or something like that. So you could do with a goalkeeper, couldn't you? Yeah. She's also a goalkeeper, right? Here, so you can. Yeah. I definitely yeah. would love a Mary Earps. <laughs> <laughs> is that a position you tend to find hard to fill a goalkeeper in women's football? Or is, it, or is it just one of those things at the moment? I think it probably is, isn't it? Because, of course, once you're a goalkeeper, that's it. Yeah. It's very rare that you then sort of start playing outfield, whereas a lot of the outfield players, you'll find that, you know, if they've got one position, they can also move into different positions, whereas goalkeeper, you know, yeah. it, it's just quite a niche market, I'd say. Yeah, good. Well, just to finish off, when's your next game? It should be Sunday, yeah. Yeah, is that a home game or a... It's an away game against Walton. Yeah, and when's your first home game? Do you, can you remember so we can get people to come down? Um, I'll find out when we, yeah. we, we, we can pull <laughs> that out. Yeah, we can pull we'll that out. Check that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Okay. Well, welcome. I hope we, we do like the link between the women's football and the main football club. I think it's important that we build on that. Mm -hmm. And you know, as much publicity as we can give you, we'll we'll try and do that. And if you can help get the club publicised through the women's as well. Brilliant. Thank you very, yeah, thank much. You very much. Thank you both. Thank you.